stood out though as being totally unlike all of the others. Instead of getting 1% dimmer, like stars do when giant planets pass in front of them, it got much dimmer, 5% dimmer, 10% dimmer, in one case it even got 22% dimmer, as if something more like the size of a star had passed in front of it. We still don't have a good explanation for what is going on. And it seems to essentially be ordinary in every way, except that it keeps getting dimmer. astronomer who was first in charge of solving this mystery is Dr. Tabitha Boyajian because its catalog name is hard to remember and because she's so associated with the star it's colloquially come to be known as Tabby Star after her name. So the way the Kepler telescope works is that sometimes if we're lucky the planet will pass in front of the star from our perspective on Earth and that makes the star get slightly dimmer and so Kepler is looking at 100,000 stars simultaneously, and it's watching for each of those stars to see if they get slightly dimmer for a couple of hours. There was a lot of data, a lot more than astronomers could deal with by themselves, and so they enlisted citizen scientists who would go to a website and look at some of the gobs and gobs of data that the Kepler Space Telescope was producing to see if they could find any dimming events that the astronomers' computers had missed. So the interesting thing about Tabby's star is that when the planets pass in front of the star, and Kepler sees them, that has a very defined shape. It should be flat, it should go down as the planet's in front of it, and then it should come back up, and that should happen very repeatedly. Uh, with Tabby's star, the interesting thing is, is that it doesn't seem to be obviously regular, and the shape of the dips that it displays don't look like what a planet should look like. And it's very difficult to understand what's causing those. For decades, people who study the search for extraterrestrial intelligence have wondered how we might notice that they're there. So one of the suggestions is that this could be aliens, but for ex an extraordinary claim like aliens, you probably need extraordinary evidence as well. And in 1960, a physicist named Freeman Dyson came up with the hypothesis that they might have extremely large needs for energy give us thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, even billions of years of advancement, and we might need as much energy as our entire star puts out. So if that has happened to other alien civilizations, then we might notice them harvesting the energy from their star, either because they've got maybe something like giant solar panels that are blocking the star's light, or from the heat generated by their industry. An astronomer named Luke Arnold pointed out that if these sorts of giant solar panels exist, that they would have to pass in front of their star occasionally, and the Kepler Space Telescope might detect them and would be able to tell that they weren't planets in a few ways. The citizen scientists, the planet hunters who spotted this, found something that looks eerily like uh, Luke Arnold's prediction that we might see if these solar panels were out there. Short answer is we don't really understand what's going on with Tabby's star, and that could mean that it's aliens, it probably doesn't. It probably means there's just some physical mechanism that we do not understand that's causing this. But further observations, further modeling will probably reveal to us what it is. It's been over a year that we've been studying this. In fact, it's been over four years that Dr. Boyajian has been studying this. But 
We now have a lot more information. Astronomers all over the world have been studying Tabby Star. Um, we've had space telescopes point at it since then, including the Swift Space Telescope, which is operated here at Penn State, including a search that I'm leading at the Green Bank Telescope, the 100 meter radio telescope uh, in Green Bank, West Virginia. It's a really great puzzle. It's, it's fun after a whole year that indeed it is as weird as we said it was. We were always sort of worried that there might be some really prosaic explanation that everyone had missed and that would be really disappointing. But the mystery has held up, which suggests that whatever it is, is really strange. Life in the universe is something we know exists, at least, you know, here on Earth. Intelligent life is something that naturally arises. Given all the stars, we don't know the probability, but it doesn't seem unlikely that there's intelligent life out there. Within our own galaxy, some astronomers believe there may be a massive piece of alien technology, built to harvest energy from a distant star. The star, KIC 8462852, also known as Tabby's star, exhibits strange behavior, flickering and dimming, that can't be explained by any known astronomical phenomena. A new, unpublished study posted to ArcSIV, reports the results of studying images of the star from the Kepler telescope over the past four years. The paper shows shocking results, the star's luminosity varied, sometimes dipping by 20% over the course of the study period. Even more perplexingly, its total luminosity, or flux, diminished by 4% overall over that time. The part that really surprised me was just how rapid and non-linear the dimming was, study author Ben Montet of Coltec told News Reports. We spent a long time trying to convince ourselves this wasn't real. We just weren't able to. Tabby's star was first observed in the 19th century, providing scientists plenty of data to reference in their search for answers. Another researcher, Bradley Schaefer of Louisiana State University, published a study earlier this year claiming that the light output of the star has decreased by 19% in 100 years. His claims were highly disputed. Now, this data seems to back up the assertion that the star is dimming at an astonishingly rapid rate, even if Schaefer's data is not totally accurate. One of the explanations for this phenomena, and the one that has received the most press, is the idea that the star could be flickering and dimming due to an alien superstructure, that extraterrestrial beings are building around their star as a way, perhaps, to collect energy. These hypothetical structure are known as Dyson spheres. Though there's been no proof of this hypothesis, it also can't be ruled out. The other theories, including that the star is blocked by the debris of a smashed planet, or what's known as gravity darkening, would go towards explaining parts of the phenomenon, but no current theory could explain it entirely. The new paper states, and I agree, that we don't have any really good models for this sort of behavior, Jason Wright. The Penn State astronomer who first suggested the alien superstructure theory said, That's exciting. <laughs>